There we go. All right. So, well, first, uh, let me open up some documentation pages here. Um, so the important part to know about the SDK at the, at the minute is that uh, both the Android and the iOS applications are very thin wrappers on top of the SDK itself. So right now, the SDK is a native wrapper on top of React Native, thus going full circle. And each of the applications is a very thin uh, layer on top of these. So on the Ditsimit project, uh, both for iOS and Android, we have dedicated readmeets uh, where you can see what kind of, um, what the API offers uh, and what, what functions it has. In a nutshell, both APIs um, give us a view which will render the entire conference. So it's a very high level API. Uh, you can call load URL and pass a URL that will uh, join the conference, render all the stuff, uh, and will emit some events regarding the conference. Um, for example, when a conference failed, joined, left, will join, will leave. Uh, these are can be used by consumers of the API uh, to, for example, hide the view. Uh, on Android, this is uh, pretty much the same. Uh, we have an extra, on Android, an extra helper, which is uh, an activity that implements, uh, because on Android, the boilerplate required is a bit larger. So we have a helper class that basically implements all the things we need. And you're gonna see right now how we use them on uh, both the Android and the, and the iOS uh, applications. Uh, for example, the events part on uh, Android is, um, well, more Android-D, so they are not like uh, delegate methods. These are on something callbacks. They're pretty much the same, but we try to make the API uh, look as close as it gets uh, on its platform to the expectations of, of the users. So let's look, um, for instance, at, the, at our own iOS application. So our own iOS application um, so the GTMeet iOS application, um, this is the main storyboard. So the main entry point, it has a single view, which is of type uh, GTMeet view. This is because we loaded the SDK and it covers the entire screen. Um, so all we have is a single view controller and this is all there is to it. So once this view is available, uh, what all we need to do is uh, get the reference to it, uh, assign a delegate, this is not technically required, so you can skip it. Uh, but the important part here is uh, we have a property called welcome page enabled. So when you load a Jitsi Neat app, you're presented with this prompt to enter the room URL and then a button to join. But if you're embedding uh, Jitsi Meet with the SDK into your own project, you probably don't want to use this. So instead of setting this here to yes, you can just set it to no and then when you're not in a conference, uh, the view will render nothing. So you can hide it and then nothing will happen. The camera will be closed and that's that. Uh, and then here we will uh, just say load URL nil. So this way, uh, what will happen is that uh, we, we will load the entry point of the application. Because we're using a um, the welcome page we will end up there but if we were not using the welcome if we were not using the welcome page we will end up with this empty view and here you can tell it to uh, load any URL so for example we can say URL with string and that will just load that URL uh, when the application starts. Now, let's have a look at what Android does, if I can find the thing here. So on Android, it's pretty much a similar thing. Our app, this is all there is to it, our main activity. On iOS, instead of having this single view controller, we have this single activity that extends from this GT uh, meet activity that, as I said, has all the boilerplate that you need to connect it to something else. Uh, and here uh, we set the welcome page to true, so we enable it, but we could choose not to do that. 
And then uh, we just call uh, the onCreate method of the parent, which will uh, by default load nothing. If we want to load a different URL, we can use the load URL method here. Uh, so we could say like um, the same way. And tell all your good friends, enjoy shenanigans to add a try catch for us because we're lazy. And this way it would load that URL just the moment the application starts. Uh, if you want to integrate with deep linking and other things, we have some documentation in the uh, on the readmes. And we're also hoping that uh, soon after these APIs have stabilized a little bit, as you may have seen, there is not a lot to these APIs, but we have also added uh, the ability to um, load the URL and pass some parameters. And we have some examples on that. For example, let me show you the iOS. And this is actually uh, in the same way as Pavel showed um, or mentioned for the um, iframe SDK. So here, if we if we use this uh, alternate methods of load URL object, we can load this URL and we can override some configuration. And we say, hey, I want to start with audio muted, yay or nay, uh, and same goes for video. So this is the part we're more actively working on at the moment, making all these things more flexible. So while you can test this today, by just building the framework yourself, uh, it's uh, um, it will evolve a little bit and hopefully be a little bit easier to use. And um, we also plan on making a binary releases at some point in the near future. Uh, so you don't need to build the SDK yourself. At the moment, you just need to grab the, the entire source code for Jitsimit, build it either with uh, Xcode or Android Studio, and you will end up with all the binary artifacts that you need to include uh, in your application to just uh, start using the uh, Yes, okay. So that's, uh, I would say that's the 10,000 feet view of sorts. I can find, there we go. Um, Boris, can you stop the recording? And if anyone has some questions, I'm happy to answer.